my co-Filipinas out there who has morena skin, who is the reason why I'm actually doing this video right now, this one's for you. Uh, so for today, we are going to review one of the products that I really love. I've been using this since 2016 and it has actually helped me uh, with my skin problems. One of the things also. And none other than Misha! So the thing is, I got two shades of Misha. Number 23, which is this is one of the old ones that I've been using. And it's old, their old packaging too. This is Misha number 23. Is that gonna zoom or focus? Here you go. Number 23, which is the one that has kind of like a grayish skin tone, but actually I was expecting it to look a little bit like a natural thing, but surprisingly it was not, and it makes my skin a little bit gray. But this is also the reason why I bought shade number 25, which is very hard to find. Because when I was back in the United States, I was looking for shade number 25, 26, or 27 kind of shade, and I can't find it. And then the closest shade that I can find to my skin is number 23, which is a little bit grayish for my skin, but I survived. Anyway, so uh, I'm making this review because I bought this one and I'm going to test it out because I've never used number 25 before and I'm going to use it today. And I'm going to put it on my skin so I can test it if it's actually the right shape for me. Okay, so here's the catch. Here's a little bit of something about Misha. What is Misha? It's actually a multifunction BB cream that actually has a lot of benefits that could give to you. It's so convenient to use and it's so lightweight. And at the same time, you don't need to use sunblock or sunscreen on your face anymore because it has SPF 42 PA++++ and also it has UV protection which actually protects you from the harmful rays of sun. You know what I'm talking about? Because you don't want that. This is uh, actually best in normal combination or dry skin. So if you have oily skin, nothing to worry about. You're aware of a blotting paper and a powder, you're good to go because those are gonna be your BFFs when you use those. There's a lot of people who have sensitive skin, so it's really hard for them to find a product that would actually be their BFF. You know what I mean? So here are the highlighted ingredients why it's actually good for you and for your sensitive skin. It has botanical oils and extracts from macadamia, jojoba, rosemary, and chamomile, which actually, actually this ingredients acts as antioxidants and moisturizers already so number two is the arbutin which actually works as a skin whitening so at the same time you're wearing it can you imagine that your skin is like becoming bright if you're a filipina and you live in a tropical country it's very sunny most of the time of the year is gonna be sunny and humid and this one's gonna be good for your skin also it has adenosine which helps produce collagen, so it's kind of like it acts as an anti-aging. So you know how some makeup products that you use will actually worsen the, the elasticity of the skin and it makes you look dull and old, but this one is going to help last thing. It has beeswax that has skin healing properties, which is if you're breaking out, they said it's actually good for your skin because if you put it it's not just gonna cover up those babies out there, it's also gonna heal it at the same time that you're wearing. For me, um, I used to break out a lot because women and their monthly things, so I used to break out a lot. So when I use this, when I go to work, it's so, um, like I'm, I'm gonna say poreless. Like you can't really see your pore, it, it looks so smooth. And here's a little bit of disclaimer for you guys. I am not doing this because I'm advertising Misha. I'm actually um, give a little bit of review by experience. Misha was one of the products I have been using since 2016 and it was like my go-to because it's really quick. You don't need to have a brush, you don't need to have like those sponges, just your magic fingers and you're good to go. You can also put it while you're in the car. It's so convenient to use and it's so lightweight. So why Misha? I'm gonna say because it stays on your skin for a very long time. You don't have to reapply it, so it's like kind of like saving you some money. Also, um, it can easily mix up with products, and if I say product, that means serum. 
And also, it lasts for at least three to four months for those who use it every day. And for those who doesn't, like me, um, it lasted me at least a year or a year and a half. One of the cons though is it's unsuitable for oily skin type, but it's fine with me because I use blotting paper and powder. It saves my day. Okay, so here we are guys. We are going to try number 23 and 25. So I'm going to try 23 first and let's see how this is going to look like. I already know how it's going to look like on my skin, but I just want to show you guys. So you will see the difference between 23 and 25. And I'm going to do a little bit of a swatch. So I'm going to put number 23 first, which is the one I always use. So you, you guys could just see it. Hold on. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to put a little bit here. Just a little bit. That. So you guys can see. See? I'm going to slide it down so you can see. It's a little bit of like grayish tone, I'm going to say. Like grayish brown and so I'm going to open my number 25 for the first time it actually just arrived yesterday so I ordered it online so here we go so I've heard they had a new packaging so this is how the new packaging looks like it's shiny and it's super red it looks more professional it says M perfect cover BB cream RX this one doesn't have RX but okay and in the shade of number 25, SPF 42, PA++. Let's see, let's see if it really works that way. So, um, I'm going to try to put this for the first time. There you go. Oh, it's like in a yellowish tone. It's like yellowish brown. It's more into like yellowish tone. I like it! Look at that! It's more into my shade. I'm gonna say in Maybelline, I'm actually shade number 220, which is natural beige. So for those who wanted to know. Look at that! This is the one I've been using. And this is the one I just bought. Look at that! Oh my god, it really fits my skin color! I'm so happy! I feel like I found my shade. You know how hard it is to actually find your right shade? I'm gonna cry. Just kidding. <laughs> now, let's see if this works really well on blemishes. Because I have a little baby right here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. That's my baby. I've been taking care of it like, like for weeks already. So let's see if that actually works on um, covering it up. So I'm gonna put my gray tone first, which is the number 23, before putting number 25. So, okay, let's do it. But first, let me put my headband first because we don't want hair in my face. Hi guys, I'm back. So here we are with my bare face. So you can see how it really look like without any foundation, makeup, just a little bit of lip gloss. Here we are. I'm going to start off with number 23. So, because I, I just want to show you guys how it looks like. So what I do is either I use... A little bit of like a puff thingy but right now I'm not gonna use that I'm just gonna use my fingers and look at that it's kind of like grayish shade I don't even know why I used it but it's the closest thing I can find to my shade so all right let's just put it here let's see look at that look at those <laughs> look at those oh look at that it's kind of like fair but like I said, look at that. I look like a, a multo. I look like a ghost when I put this. But after some time, it's gonna like tone down because of the oxid oxidization. Huh? <laughs> Let's put some more. That's not enough. So I'm gonna put some more in my forehead. I'm just gonna leave my um my crease right there. Or like... <sighs> See? It makes my skin brighter. Now I look like a ghost. <laughs> But after some time, here's the thing, after some time, it's going to oxidize and it's going to match with my skin. Things. Look at that. Look at that. It's so fair. So if you guys want to see a close-up, here's, here's, here's what it looks like. 
like a little bit of the pimple shades is still there like the blemishes but see it was a little bit dark a while ago you see how it's like a little bit dark brown and now it's like you can just see that it's there but there's no more dark spot so that's it guys that's number 23 and so we are proceeding to number 25 which I'm very excited to use because I'm gonna use this for the first time so let me just remove my um the misha on my face right now which is number 23 because I'm going to use number 25 Now that I'm done cleaning my face with a facial wipe and now we're going to proceed with number 25 I'm so excited I've never used this ever I hope this will really match my skin because as I saw here it really matched my skin it's really lightweight it's super light so what I'm gonna do is put one here on my finger look at that and then I'm just gonna like try to like spread it there I think I need to put more. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, OMG. It looks so natural. Look at that. Oh, oh my god, I so love number 25. No regrets. No regrets, guys. This is truly my shade. I'm a Morena skin girl, and I found the right shade for me. Look at that. OMG, it's so lightweight, so easy to apply. I'm gonna say it doesn't really cover up my pimple, but look at that, it brightens it, so. Acts like a little bit of like a concealer too. Oi, I love it. It looks so natural. So for those who's actually cringing right now because I use my finger, just wanna let you know, I sprayed alcohol on my hand and my fingers before I did this. So just to make sure, because we don't want to catch any bacteria. Because some of y'all will be like, ew, she used her finger. Just look at that. OMG, I really I, I love it. I found my shade. I'm gonna be like number 25 for the rest of my life. <laughs> Kinda like a little bit tinted though. Look at that. I think I'm gonna put some on my eyelid because mm -hmm. it looks like it's being left around there. OMG It's so hard to find the right shade for your skin and when you find it, it's like ah, Hallelujah, hallelujah Look at that So guys, this is shade number 25 and I'm in heaven right now. I feel like I found it. It's not gray It doesn't look grayish on my skin and it just looks natural. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna like stand up so you can see my neck. This is my neck shade. I haven't put some on my neck, but most of the time I will put some on my neck. But I didn't put right now, so. I've been looking all over for you. Thank you for coming into my life. Anyways, <laughs> like I said, guys, I use number 220 for matte poreless. And then I tried to use number 23. It was like grayish. And I was waiting for number 25, 26. 27 is kind of like more super yellowish blue. So it's like when you put it, you're going to look like an eggnog. Just kidding. When you use it, you're going to look a little bit yellowish. But then it's going to oxidize. So whatever, right? You see the skin closer. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's just a little bit dark on my neck because it's closer to the camera. But when I'm far, look at that. This is the same. But when I get close, look at that. It's so smooth. It's like, look at that. Plus it has a sunblock already in it. So I think this is going to be my go-to already. Number 25, you're going to be my baby. I'm going to say goodbye to number 23. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> so yeah. 
that's it you guys thank you so much for watching the video and i hope i helped you out there whoever's looking for the right shade of misha as you can see i didn't even remove it you guys if you like this video hit thumbs up you can like and subscribe to my video for more of my reviews and thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next video bye